I'm Deborah Zimmerman. I'm the executive director of Women Make Movies. We're a nonprofit organization that supports women filmmakers. We were founded in 1972 with a very specific mission to help women to get their films made, kind of give cameras and workshops. Uh, over the years, it's grown tremendously and we have two programs. One is a distribution program where we distribute films made by women from all over the world to audiences in North America. And we also have a production assistance program where we assist women in raising money to get their films made and um, sponsor their projects to uh, funders in the U.S. I just gave a master class on navigating the film festival circuit uh, and creating a strategy for your film. I think film festivals are incredibly important. They're kind of the cornerstone um, for filmmakers building a career as filmmakers and trying to get their films out into the world. You know, it's the kind of thing that generally isn't taught in film school. You learn how to make films, you learn how to shoot, how to do sound, how to create stories, but you don't learn what to do once your film is finished and how do you get it out into the world. So um, this is the kind of uh, masterclass workshop that we do at Women Make Movies as webinars um, on all kinds of different subjects that are really the behind the scenes, the business of the business of making films. There's actually, honestly, there's so many. Um, but I think last year I was very, it made me very happy that um, there's a filmmaker named Dee Reese, and she had made a film called Pariah, which we helped her to make. And then last year she made a fiction film in Hollywood called Mudbound, and she was the first African-American woman nominated for an Academy Award for Best Script Writing. And she hired a woman cinematographer who was the first woman ever to be nominated for Best Cinematography. And at the same time, we had a documentary that was up for uh, Best Documentary that was made by a trans filmmaker, the first trans filmmaker to be nominated. I think it's, it's, so, it's still so difficult for women because the entire industry, from the studio heads and the producers to the film critics to the festival programmers, they're all, it's all very male dominated. And women are not given the support from the industry. Um, and we have training to not think of ourselves as being the center of what's going on. So we're always trying to take care of everything because it's part of our nature. And that really works against us. My best advice is to make sure that she networks with other women filmmakers, find a mentor, find somebody that's going to be able to be a role model for her. Um, and really, the most important thing is to have the support of other women, because without that, it's much, much more difficult. We have to help each other. And the truth is, is that the statistics, even though those statistics are so bad for women, the truth is, is that when there's one woman as a producer on a film, it's six times more likely to have women in the other key roles. Women do bring other women along. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's my advice. And of course, don't give up and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do this. It was really great. I have to say that I was very pleasantly surprised because I didn't know what to expect and I didn't realize how um, uh, adult many of the students would be. I was expecting much younger people and I found them so interested and very much, um, uh, very much in the process of thinking about making films, not so much like students. So it was, um, yeah, it was a great experience. I enjoyed it very much.